Hello, Guardian Home Inspection, performing a sewer inspection in Reseda, California. I'm on the roof, I'm at the roof vent. Property didn't have a clean out. That's my sewer, sewer snake camera. It's me. Um, so now I'm going down three inch transite pipe roof vent. So on property inspections, I do recommend having a, a sewer clean out. So I do, rec I did recommend a sewer clean out uh, on this. So right here on uh, one o'clock. Approximately, I see a lateral roof vent. So I, I was a transite pipe, so now I see cast iron. And going down, <clears throat> there's another vent for the sinks. So I'll keep going. Three inch line, three and a half inch, four, three and a half inch. And then here we see a sanitary tea double here. One's from the toilet. I think one's from the kitchen. Um, the smaller one in the kitchen on the left be, uh, appears to be the kitchen. So here, now I'm going to push into lateral. So I'm 15 feet, 16 feet, 15 feet. And I'm going to put my distance, bottom left, white, to zero so now I reset it because now I'm at lateral here um, the pipe is cast iron the pipe does look a little worn uh, given the age it looks okay it's just cruddy down at the bottom there you see that um, in typical crud that you see cast iron <clears throat> rust damage but eh, given the age the property looks the, the sewer line looks pretty good um, my slope here is three and here it looks like it's going to slope a little bit more. Let's see what it does. Um, you know, I already did this inspection, so I kind of know what's coming. 10 degrees. Looks good. Keep going. And at this section, cast iron turns into clay. And if you see the bottom there, the clay has cracked. And uh, so you have like a 3 to 4 inch gap there. So that's requiring repair, and it's sagging there. Um, so what I noticed also in the garage, it had a lot of cracks. So this leak, it's seeping water into the soil. That causes expansion and contraction, and that could cause cracks in your concrete deck and your foundation. You never want to have water just seeping into the, into the, uh, the bottom of your foundation because this is right at the connection of the house. So this is seven feet out. But uh, I took my sond locator, and it's right there, right at the main entrance of the house, of the main water supply shut off. So to see how this pipe's sagging, it doesn't have proper slope. I'm getting plus two on the slopage. Um, so, uh, you know, pipe is collecting water there. At this point, it does need repair. And right here on the left, see how it looks like Orangeburg. Uh, but that's just telling me that that pipe's been underwater for quite a bit and that it's just collecting junk and gunk. Um, so it's still sagging here. I'm getting a little bit better slope, but it's still sagging. It's underwater. See, and here, here's the, the proof is that that pipe has collapsed or sagged to a point where it's offset, like a half inch offset from this line here. So now at this point, this clay line looks okay. Um, I will see some tree roots intrusion there a little bit there and there, you know, in there, minimal. Um, so on, on, on the camera snakes, they cannot detect if the pipe is leaking. But, w you know, if we see loose joints like that and we see tree roots, it's most likely leaking water out into the soil. Uh, some more tree roots here on the left side, right side top, see that? <clears throat> um, so I did take it out to the city connection sewer uh, but i don't think i'm going to do it on this one i don't know if i remember if i did it all the way but um this is the second part of the inspection i didn't put all the videos in here so this is where i see more tree roots so this is the extent of the damage um i took it out so we're at 30 feet out from the house actually minus about 10 feet that was underneath the house so say 20 feet out and I took my sawn locator out there, and it's all soil. It's all lawn. It's no concrete. Uh, there's a little patio there, but, you know, we could dig under it. We don't have to cut concrete. So 
I took my sonde, it was four feet deep in this section. I located it, and so gold standard is to replace the section of the damaged pipe, uh, the damaged clay. So I'm gonna take it out about 30, 35 feet out, dig it up, you know, five feet, uh, dig it up all the way to the house, and put new ABS connected to the existing clay because it looked pretty good from there there on out. Look looked good. Um, I'm going to give um, two prices. I'm going to let the plumber quote them. Uh, we already quoted them uh, for the connection uh, a little bit past those tree roots, ABS, and connect to the cast iron at the house connection. Uh, and they quoted them uh, $3,500. Uh, so it's like 30 feet of digging, and at the worst part, at the lowest part, it's like 4 feet deep, 5 feet deep, and the highest part is like 3 feet at the most. Um, so, yeah, it would be like 30 feet of digging, uh, connect ABS to the clay, and connect to the cast iron at the house, and install a two-way clean-out valve. Uh, quoted them $3,500. On this, I did the inspection. I'm a home inspector. I did the inspection for 425, and then I charged them 175 for the sewer line. Um, so you know, pretty good, uh, pretty good deal on my part. You know, on a 1,200 square foot home uh, with sewer, uh, it cost them seven six hundred dollars, uh, which is a, you know a good price. They got a good they got a good inspection, and they're going to get 3,500 dollar um, credit if everything goes well with them um, obviously gold standard is to replace the entire line but uh, I don't I don't know if they're gonna do that uh, but if they just did what we were what the plumber recommended uh, they should be fine um, and then you know they'll have the two-way clean out um, and pretty much guarantee that it's gonna be fine <clears throat> so that's uh, another picture of the damage and now I'm just retracting it out um, so this sewer snake camera I have the 63668 camera. Uh, it's the Sea Snake C40 Compact with TrueSense, and um, and it's a great camera, great system. Uh, it's a 130 foot length cable, and uh, you know it gets me pretty much anywhere. I mean, obviously, if I wanted 200 feet, then I, you know, properties that. I've done big properties and I'm, you know, 120 feet out and I hit city. So like, cool. And that's a big, pretty big property. So uh, I'm pretty good, you know, um, with this. This is real. Even if I had 260 more feet would be better. But uh, for for uh, what I got, it's a great camera. And, uh, uh, you know, I recommend it. So I'm all finishing up. You know, I, as I'm pulling out my snake, I'm cleaning it with... Uh, some wipes and just clean the camera on and then I'll hose it off when I get home. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, that's my sewer camera inspection. And uh, over and out. Thanks.